Good evening, beautiful woman. Welcome to Isaiah's Inspiring Evenings, a podcast full of goddess stories, witches' secrets, colors of women, and fairies' seasons to integrate serenity, abundance, joy, and magic into your life. This is episode 13, Bathtubs and Opportunities, How I Program Myself. I am Isaiah Bell, creatrix, magical pragmatic life and business coach, goddess teacher and traveling priestess, and this podcast aims to accompany you for peaceful and inspiring evenings. Isaiah's Inspiring Evenings is a podcast published every week on Saturdays, and you will find more info and the references I am talking about on the website isaiahbell.com. Subscribe to the podcast on the platform of your choice to be informed of the publication of each new episode. If you like this podcast, you can support it by leaving stars, blue thumbs and reviews on whatever platform you listen to me. Postulate. I create my own reality. Always, at every moment. Starting from there, every thought, dream, action, and especially repeated thoughts and actions that become habits therefore require to be investigated rigorously and above all to be the object of a choice. A choice aligned with my values, my truth, my strength as well, because there is no point in programming habits that I do not have the real capacity to anchor in my life. Okay, Isaiah, but there are several things in these few sentences that make me bristle. First of all, it all sounds very selfish. Yes. With my clients every day, I repeat that well-thought-out selfishness is the start of the path. Let me explain. Let's talk about bathtubs. Imagine you are a bathtub. The tap of the universe is flowing freely to fill you with all the good things and endless abundance of goodness. You feel this abundance, this warmth, the droplets that scatter, the steam that heats the wall of your tub. But you chose to give. First, to be the one who nourishes, who reassures, who coaxes, cooks, comforts, who is of service, always and first. That is to say, to use my bathtub metaphor, that you left the drain open and the abundance of the universe pours into you and immediately vanishes through the plug hole to feed, fill all those to whom you choose to pass it on. You just have the droplets, a little steam, and maybe a water base that doesn't drain fast enough. And here you are, programmed, condemned to live on crumbs, while the tap is flowing. What to do? My suggestion is simple. Close the drain and take time to fill yourself up, to let yourself be filled with all the good things the universe has in store for you. And of course, you will also have to remember to ask for those good things. We'll get to that another day. Make the choice of you, the choice to resource yourself, to reconnect to source, to the abundance of resources that the universe makes available to you by pouring this infinite flow of goodness into its tap. And do it first. What happens then? When I close the drain, the tub fills up. I fill myself with all the good that I so desire and want. And the abundance of the universe is infinite. You just have to look at nature outside and reconnect with Gaia to see it to know it in your womb. Every year in spring, the earth is filled with new life, infinite possibilities of harvests, of good, of beautiful. It is the cycle of Gaia, the one of our roots and abundance every time we connect to it. So the faucet keeps pouring into your tub, again and again. And when you are full, complete, satisfied, filled to the brim, what happens then? It overflows. 
And this surplus abundance then flows onto all those around you. Your family, your loved ones, your friends, your community, your clients. And now you give without counting because you are full. You give without emptying yourself energetically, without exhaustion, without hidden resentment, without the secret hope of receiving in exchange. You give from this sacred place of you, which is fully open to generosity, from this space which is so full and so rich that it overflows, it spreads, it surges like a wave of donation and abundance on your world. The trick, you get the idea, is to start with you. Well thought out selfishness, then. Is it clearer? Okay, Zaya, I see. Let's admit it. Yes, let's admit it. But above all, let's practice it. Because this is not only about energetics and woo-woo magic. These are daily actions that all go in the same direction, minute-by-minute choices that create your goddess life, one choice after another and one conscious and focused action after another. And I come to my second point. Are you making your life easy? When you make your choices, are you planning for a success or for a failure? When you choose the actions that you are going to repeat each day, the habits that you want to create for yourself, from which space, from which energy do you do that? We have seen that first of all, it's all about getting your tub fill up. But it's not enough. Because it's the thoughts, actions, regular habits that we choose in our lives that create our reality, as I said above. And some of us, yes, I was one of those, unconsciously choose a difficult, painful reality and set themselves up for failure and make choices that are not aligned with their values, their truths, their strengths too. Because failure, staying small, the status quo, it is comfortable, it is known. And the alternative, success, change, transformation, it can be scary. And that's okay. It's okay to know you're scared. Fear is not in itself a danger, nor a statement of failure. Simply a tag that tells you something. What if it was easy? And you can also know you don't have to walk this path alone. You can be supported, accompanied to overcome these fears and dare to change. When I accompany my clients through the changes they choose or that life offers them, we walk side by side in these unknown territories. I help them in their choices, tiny or grandiose. I encourage them to embrace them, to choose self-love, to move to a more positive version of themselves, to opt for joy, to venture into new, freer territories, to embrace peace and gratitude to enter into more sunny and honest projects. And this in a very practical way, one action at a time. As part of our joint work, I assess which tools will be useful, we experiment with them in a safe space, then they leave, transformed and full of ideas, practical steps to take, and morale high. So if you feel like this is the time for you, choose optimism in your life and upcycle upwards for the better, the more, the flight. At the moment, a place for individual coaching has become available in my schedule. I am super happy and super excited to be able to open the door for a woman motivated to transform her life. I know that the work I offer is literally groundbreaking and original and that it does change lives. So if that's you, if you're ready to take off but you prefer to be accompanied, You can make an appointment by clicking on the link in the description of the podcast for a free 30-minute discovery call. We'll see if our colors match and if my friends, the goddesses and I can help you dare. I'll be really happy to hear from you on these few ideas. Thank you in advance for your comment. That's it for this episode. The next one is still in creation. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, 
If you want to support this podcast, share, subscribe, and leave stars, blue thumbs, and a review on whichever platform you listen to. If you want to be accompanied in the change processes that life offers you, if you want to participate in the awakening of feminine energy in the world, live your life as a goddess, know the secrets of witches, and apply the rituals of fairies in your daily life, please contact me by going to the VIP coaching page of my website, isaiabell.com, or by participating in the retreats, programs, or courses that I offer regularly. You can also subscribe to my newsletter to be informed of all the news in the real and virtual world of Isaiabell. You will, of course, find this podcast on all platforms. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. But also on YouTube and on my site, isaiabell.com, on the podcast page. 